listen, I, I, share, I share my my sins quite regularly. I do that just so that y'all don't think that I got it all together. Somebody needs to be holding me accountable. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? We should, listen, we are not, as a church, not rising to our Baptist church, we are not going to lower God's standard. He wants the best for us. Then we're going to give him our best. If it's the last thing that I do, the charge to destroy sin's control, the challenge of committing to that charge, and then we need to understand that there are consequences for not conquering sin. Perhaps you are here and there's something that you need to lay at the altar. You've been contemplating doing something and God has arrested your attention this morning and you need to put it at the altar and you need to submit. It's nobody's business what it is. But it's time for you to get it right with God. Perhaps you're here and you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You don't have the means to deal with sin. The good news is Jesus died for your sin. So the thing that you need to do is respond to his gift of grace. So if you're here and it's something that you need to leave at the altar. Listen, don't come up here if you're not serious about dealing with it. You're no longer a slave. Father, we come in Jesus' name. Lord, what a sober message to remind us of the cycles of sin that often permeate our lives. As we look through the book of Judges, teach us, give us a sensitivity for your voice and that we would obey you fully. In Jesus' name, amen. At the end of the service, as we prepare for communion, at the end of service, if you need prayer, if you desire to commit or recommit your life to Jesus Christ, our counselors will be in the back in the conference room. We'll be happy to pray with you and walk with you. Listen, um, this sermon is a hard one for me to listen. The Word of God is sharper than any other so if you're dealing with something, I'm here to let you know you can have victory, but you have to determine that you're not going to compromise. You must drive sin out by the power of the Spirit, and you can do that if you desire. Let's stand together, those who are in the